Hello everyone. Okay, so I'm just gonna take you through a quick tutorial, very basic of how to launch a website um, with CUNY Academic Commons, which you all have now registered with. Um, so again, you're just gonna go to this little drop down menu, go to my sites, hit create a site, it brings you straight to the page that births websites. Um, <laughs> I don't know, it, it, it just hit create a site, and then it's just gonna ask you a few prompts. Uh, I know we went over this in class. Uh, I know there's some rules with the domains. Um, but here, we'll just make it a lemon website uh, example. That's gonna tell me, okay, my blog name is over 15 letters. So I have to we'll do lemon example. And then it didn't block it, so that means it's good. My welcome title will be welcome. First, yeah, just name it that. Um, you can be creative with what you name it. I recommend it. Um, your, the site name be your name. Um, it can also just be an abbreviation of your name. Uh, and your site title could be like um, my academic portfolio for English 110, or um, however you want to. Um, name your portfolio. I think you can change the site title um, later. I think you can't change a few of these things, like you can't change the URL later, but, um, and for the purpose, you're gonna hit portfolio. Um, there's other options here, um, but portfolio is best for our purposes. Uh, this is the license agreement. Again, um, this little money symbol means that no one can make money off of your stuff, um, which I think is a useful thing to have. You should all be getting paid for your work. Um, if they do use it, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's just basically what this means is like the, the rights of your, the work that you produce. Um, for the privacy options, you can make it totally public where your name would, will be Googleable if your name is on the website. Um, or you can just click this option where you don't show up on search engine results. Um, I don't know how they do that, but they figured it out. Um, so it all depends. Um, I, I recommend just going totally public because you're not gonna be posting anything that you're not completely comfortable with. Um, unless you are not comfortable sharing, I know some of the narratives everyone's written, they're vulnerable and maybe it's not something you want in Florida to find. So you can just go like publicly accessible, um, but still hidden from search results, or you can just make it so only with uh, people within the network of community academics can find it. Um, I think in this case, you would still have to add me to it somehow. Um, but we'll worry about that later. Right now, our main concern is just launching the website. <laughs> um, and then you're just gonna hit portfolio down here, um, and then you're gonna hit create a site. And then I actually, yeah, so the website has now been created. Um, I'm not gonna give examples with this website. I probably shouldn't have actually launched it. Uh, um, but I'm just gonna run some examples of the little portfolio that I did. Um, it's very basic and pitiful. Um, and again, I'm not the most technically savvy know-how, so. Uh, um, but this is basically your helm, your dashboard of where you can make changes to your website. So you can go to the website here. Um, so this is the stuff I have. It's really not, it's just like, I'm in the MFA program, I'm an adjunct lecturer. But that's really all I have. Um, but uh, <laughs> a collation of work and meaning, I should probably change that. <laughs> um, but this is basically, that's what the website will look like when people look on it. And then of course now I don't have any internet. And now I have to wait for the internet to get back. Um, okay, so I'm back now. Um, I think it's still recording. Okay, it's still recording. Okay, so I apologize for that hiccup. I'm not gonna stop now, just be, oh, I, I did try to make <laughs> this before and I had, uh, I lost it a few times. So, okay, so let me share my screen again. We are now at the helm of the dashboard of how to customize your website. For homework, uh, you're not, your job is to not really do too much, just kind of um, just play around with it. Um, you don't have to post anything you're not comfortable with sharing yet. Um, but basically this is 
all the stuff that you can do uh, to change the appearance. I just clicked the pages because that's where we're going to be going. So this is kind of like all the options of like what um, pages um, that your the portfolio um, might have already set in for you that you can customize, you can change the titles. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and add a new page. Um, I already have a lemon page, but I'm going to make another lemon page. <laughs> Um, so it's going to bring me to the place. Uh, hopefully my internet doesn't cut out again. Um, and then this is like basically how WordPress makes it super easy for people who don't know how to code like me to change things. Um, lemon page. This is my lemon page. <laughs> uh, um, so this is basically, and you know, you can basically, this is where you'll like make your, post your narratives, um, eventually for the portfolio. Um, and you can change the formatting, you can change the colors. It's kind of like a Word document. And then you can just go ahead and hit publish. Um, are you ready? Um, see, it's probably like, what, why are you publishing something so pitiful? Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit publish. I can go ahead and view the page. Um, and now it is on the website, but there's no link to it um, on the front page. So what I want to do now, I'm going to go to the dashboard. Again, the little helm of like where things can be changed. Um, and I'm going to go to the menu options, which is right over here. So I'm going to manage menus. And I, I deal for this assignment, you'll have like a little menu option for each of your um, portfolios. Um, so this is all the stuff that I have here now. If I wanted to add my CV, I have my CV there, but I unlinked it just <laughs> because I didn't want anyone else to see it. Um, but this is my lemon page. Um, so I want to add it to the menu. So I'm just going to hit go ahead and add to the menu. And that should pop up on this side. Now it's popped up on this side and I can, uh, here on the CV too, just to have, well, I'll add two buttons to the page, um, and then I'm gonna hit save menu. And then every time it makes an edit, I think it, okay, that one didn't give me an option. Um, but you can always just go back and just see how the website now looks. But now you'll see that there's now the lemon page and then um, the CV that um, I just added on a whim for no reason. Um, and yeah, there's a bunch of different ways to customize it. You can add pictures with the your, your writing um, and you can just play around with it. Um, here's appearance, you can customize it. Here, I don't actually know what's, I, I, don't, I didn't get too deep in the process of, of it myself. So we're kind of all gonna be learning together. Um, I know it's not comforting. <laughs> But um, just know that I'm going to be patient with you and myself, and I hope everyone's patient with me. But this is basically um, where you can start like editing things um, in a different way. Um, I don't know what widgets are. I don't know. But but <laughs> we'll, we'll click on it really quick. Um, here. Sidebar left. Okay, so this is like if you want to add a sidebar of options. Um, and again, here I'll just quickly show the English 110 website that we have. Um, kind of able to figure out. Um, so this is what you could do. You know, there's a picture here. Um, and you can also use this website for the class. I don't know if anyone's been using it. Um, but we're in phase two. If you ever need the readings for something and you blackboard is being um, annoying, you can go here and you can just uh, read the readings like that. But this is just, yeah, this is just a quick tutorial on how to um, launch a website and maybe um, get, get your website going. If you want to think of like, you can do the, you can add your written language and literacy narrative if you think it's ready to go, or you can start adding pictures to it, start formatting it like that. Um, just to get your brain to think of this um, and the ultimate goal of the class is 
to collate your little portfolios. Um, I'm sorry, not little portfolios, your professional portfolios that um, hopefully will um, give you um, a chance to work with WordPress. I know a lot of jobs do look for this, so it is something um, useful to master. Um, and if anyone has any questions with how to do this, please let me know, just because um, it's complicated. <laughs> Um, even though it's supposed to, WordPress is supposed to make it so it's less complicated. Um, I know there's still a lot of um, functionality and options and places to be creative. Um, and so I hope it's fun to explain. Um, so thank you all for watching this video um, and have a lovely day.